in your creativity. So this is the concluding session of ethical issues being discussed in conversation with Diopa Victor. So viewers, join me as I welcome you once again to Awaken Your Creativity with Diopa Victor Odozi to this very important session on appropriations. Appropriations as a defining feature of the contemporary visual art and in focus is Iase Odozi's Bini Iconography at Appropriations. the works of other artists in new works or in old, uh, in old works uh, uh, to make them different. And um, uh, let me put uh, Pablo Picasso, uh, arguably the uh, most uh, prominent and influential artist of the um, uh, late 20th century, um, who said, and I quote, uh, good artists copy, great artists steal. Um, we should not take it at its face value. What is being said really is that every artist, every artist makes a living by copying or adopting, adapting the works of others. <laughs> Great artists, they not only adapt, adopt, they transform the works of others so that their final product looks beautifully different. That makes, the, it makes them different. in various areas, and music, artworks, textiles, and all that. In the case of the Benin Iconography project, um, uh, the exhibition uh, with um, Dr. Princess um, Teresa Oyaseodosi as the exhibiting artist, um, the exhibition that was held in late uh, 2019, uh, she adopted uh, works that were found or on artifacts, uh, artifacts from Benin West that dated back um, five centuries uh, ago. And, um, Put them onto paintings, uh, which she uh, did, and transfer these onto canvas and ultimately onto textile materials. Um, the final product lay, looks so beautiful, different compared with the original work. <laughs> Creative plagiarizing, where you merely adopt the, um, the works of um, 
an artist, a maybe a great artist, prominent artist, we can't much of a difference. Anyone saying that will say, oh, this is the work of this person. In fact, I just remove a, a few things and uh, essentially it is still a plagiarized work. We must, make, we must make a distinction between that and creative appropriation. And this is what we found in connection with the uh, uh, artwork that you produce for the exhibition. Uh, the, the final product looks beautiful and different. I could say the artist's um, uh, gifts in painting uh, reflected on that well. Uh, that's one case of uh, creative appropriation. Half of the visual art sector. I know I have a lot of daughters, I have a lot of Edmonds. I stand to say a very big thank you for honoring us in the visual arts. <laughs> Thank you. 